in the Iowa Broadways, we uh, we do our thing, then they get the heat on Robert. Right. I mean, they get heat on Robert for a while. Right. Then give me a hot day, then cut me off, and then we go into the long, serious, sullen heat. Okay. Until I gave Robert a hot tag. And you had to work it till both heels were in the ring. One heel's down, he tags the other one. Then that's when I would tag Robert. See, because both heels well, you were in You have the time because of the other boom, ones. Boom, boom. When Robert come in, see, they're standing in the middle of the ring, feeding him. Mm -hmm. God, I watch hot tags a day. Hell, one heel will be over here over by the old floor, the other. And for me and Robert having the world titles, they don't put asses in seats. Understand me, what put asses in seats is the the baby face is trying to beat Chase the heels yeah. for the belts. And, and I'm going to say this, I mean, a lot of people don't understand. Dusty tried every way in the world to kill us off. Uh, but finally he couldn't do that. He's, so he started putting bandanas on and being six mans with Robert Nuss. You Did know, everything uh, he could to kill off the Rock and Roll Express? Oh, or yes. Oh, yes. Too hot. Yeah. I, I you think know. it would ever get... That angle would get so hot that they would just forget about the tag team. No. All right. Okay. Okay. I wouldn't let that happen. I'm sure you wouldn't have, but I just, in okay. his quiet moments, putting his head on the pillow at night. All right, that's, that, that, that's another fight I got in Dusty about. Okay. Okay, so, ah, so, all right, now we have to peel a few layers of the onion back to get to the truth. Yes. He wanted to, Dusty. Yes, he wanted to. That's why I tell you, he tried to kill us off. I wouldn't let it happen. Yes, they wanted me to do something, but I didn't want to. You understand me? It did. I, I come Ronnie Garvey won the world title. Okay, you got to put two and two together. I don't really talk about it much. I mean, you think they just come out in the blue to put the world title on Ronnie Garvey right after me and Ric Flair's angle? Because it was supposed to go a different way. Yes, it was, and I, that's all. Let's mm -hmm. go to the next question. And then, you know, it was the same thing. They, uh, you know, Dusty fought us. We, we were hot. We was in there. You know, that's when he had everybody else coming in. But did you notice uh, after he fought us, it wasn't six months later, they were broke. Then uh, they called us to come back in, but it was too late then. You know, I know Magnum T.A. was a great wrestler, but Magnum T.A. couldn't have carried the load. But Ole, you know, he, it was his way of the highway. And I, and I can tell you, uh, for instance, you know, Ole, when he, when he first came back into the NWA to work with Robert and I, was, you know, he didn't, really didn't want to work with us because he thought it was uh, bad because we were too small. We wrestled, wrestled, the guy said five minutes remaining. And we wrestled another 15 minutes. <laughs> Then he goes, four minutes remaining. What the hell? Yeah, and it, you know. We're still wrestling, wrestling. Finally, and, and finally we, we end up winning. And the way back, the guy, the bell keeper, come between me and Ricky. He goes, guys, I gave you an extra 30 minutes. I knew y'all could beat him. So I get the limo driver to go get me an eight ball of cocaine. Mm -hmm. Well, I wanted a bump of it. So Jimmy's on the airplane, and, and I'm fixing to do it. But, you know, Patty wasn't doing it. But I told Patty, I said, stand in front of me for Somebody, everybody on the plane can't see me do this, you know, so I knew she wasn't going to stooge on me. So right when I went to do it, Jimmy Garvin hit the motor on the airplane, right? That's $300, and it all blew right in Patty's face. Oh, jeez. Now, now, see, cocaine goes in your pores and your eyes, and, and your I don't care, that's, I went <laughs> right in her face, and all, just instantly she went, her guy's going, <laughs> She's talking 100 miles an hour. Call you on the phone. Look here, Bob, call you on the phone. Hey, Ricky, Bob Goggle. Yes, sir? <laughs> hey, Bob, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> Bob, right. you called us. <laughs> when I broke my arm, the girls would come up and have broke arm cast on them. <laughs> they put fake cast on their arms. When I was wrestling Ric Flair, they put the tape over their nose. They was there with me. You see, that's what, how much they were into it. Like Cordes said, we got laid more on the way to the ring than we did all year. <laughs> you must have had some bizarre shit sent to you in the mail or weird phone calls or people stalking you at home and shit. We'd actually well, had to have a cop in Charlotte at his house and my house. Right. The cops actually parked out in the front yard to keep people away. There's one girl. It's on our butt so quick, we, 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 
We act like we're going to get off. We exit at, at the rest area. No, we act like we can pull in the rest like area. Rest area. And so Ricky makes a turn in when he does. Ricky turns back out, and they were already already committed, so they had to go through the rest area. And we're doing about 90 mile an hour out here. And they're going through the rest area at 90 mile an hour. Look here, and come out right with us. Right. Up here in New York, it's a whole different ball game than it is down south. Mm. You know, down south it's David and Goliath. Uh, up here, it's just you know they they put you in a in a match, but you don't know because no, a lot of times you get lost in the shuffle. So you were approached, but it was your decision not to go. Yeah, and and, and we might have made a bad decision, but we was on top. And what I'm trying to tell you is, is while we're on top, that we sh we lost out a lot. You understand me? Our money went to buy. Fucking jet.